It's being called a nationwide epidemic, the infiltration of bed bugs. They seem to be everywhere, from homes to fancy hotels. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with more. Good morning. I bet you loved investigating this piece, Susan. I feel very itchy, <laughs> and I highly recommend if you're eating breakfast right now, you put that on hold for just a few minutes. Pest control companies used to get one or two calls for bed bugs a year. Now the industry is seeing one or two calls a week. And as we found out, no one is immune to getting these little bugs with a big bite. If you thought cockroaches were bad, meet the bed bug, a hardy little creature that likes to suck blood. I woke up and found that I had a couple bites on me. At first, Amber and Ryan Krause didn't think much of their bites until those bites started to multiply. That's when I was like, I'm pretty sure this is leading to bed bugs. The Krauses live in New York City, where even some retailers have had to shut down their doors to clean out bed bugs. But there's a critter crisis all across the country. In Seattle, exterminators report a 70% increase in bed bug related calls. 200 people in Fort Worth, Texas, were forced to move out of their building because of bed bugs. And Manchester, New Hampshire, has even started a bed bug action committee. Bed bug problem is pretty um, extensive in America. Lewis Sorkin is an entomologist and leading expert on bed bugs. They're all feeding now. He says these little suckers are hitching a ride on our clothes and in our suitcases. They can live just about anywhere and survive for nearly a year without feeding. One reason for having so many bed bugs is that people actually don't understand what to look for when they're searching for bed bugs. Oh, check it, check it. So it's dogs like Roscoe to the rescue. Show me. Man's best friend is now being trained to sniff out these little bugs, which are no bigger than an apple seed. I mean, normally people don't see the bed bugs. Roscoe can detect them when nobody can find them. Good boy. And sure enough, boy, in the Krause's apartment. Come where? Roscoe tracks down the bugs. There's your bed bug right there. But getting rid of bed bugs isn't easy or cheap. It can cost you hundreds of dollars for a treatment like this. CO2 spray, which freezes the bugs to kill them off. Perfect. The Krauses are anxious to get rid of these unwanted house guests. It'll probably be a couple weeks before we can actually rest and be reassured that they're taken care of. And usually the first sign of bed bugs, small brown or red dots on your sheets. And if you think you have bed bugs, check your mattress. They can live just about anywhere in your home, but most hang out in the bedroom and they like to hide in the seams of the mattress. Bed bugs have nothing to do with cleanliness. Even world-class hotels have reported having bed bugs, Erica. Oh, and the reason they can be anywhere is because they travel very easily and happily with you, correct? Oh, yeah. They love to hitchhike. So even if you're staying at a hotel, you, you can be on vacation and you can bring them back with you. So if you're worried about it, if you're paranoid about bed bugs, you may want to check out your hotel room, pull back the sheets, look under the mattress, look behind the headboard, and then definitely check your suitcase and your clothes before you start unpacking everything when you get home. Really makes me want to go on vacation. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs>